an object is moving along a line with a position function s of t is t squared plus 1. I've graphed the position function right here. At time equals 0, the object is at 1. At time equals 1, at 2. Time equals 2, at 5. And you can see the graph is a parabola that's going, that's going up. Fi a. Find its position at t equals 1. Well, we know this is a position function, so if you want to find the position at time equals 1, you're just going to plug 1 into this function, which is going to give you 1 squared plus 1, or 2. And as you can see, when, when time is 1, you have the position of 2. Now, let's try to find its average velocity from t equals 1 to t equals 2. How you find the average velocity? Average velocity is defined as average velocity as the displacement over change in time. Displacement is the change in position, and change in time is change in time. So from time equals 1 to time equals 2, how much did your position change? Well, at time equals 1, as we know, we, we were at position of 2. At time equals 2, we can find it. At time equals 2, we were at the position of 2 squared plus 1 or 5. So when time was 2, we the position was 5. So you went from 2 to 5. So how much ha your position changed by 5 minus 2? And how much has the time changed from time equals 1 to time equals 2? Well, that's going to be 2 minus 1. And simplifying this, you're going to get a 3. So the average velocity from time equals 1 to time equals 2 is going to be a 3. And how another way of looking at this average velocity is by realizing that it's the, it's, it's the slope of the second line that goes through the graph at time equals 1 and time equals 2. You see that's the second line, the line that intersects the graph at two points. And you see the slope of this line is going to be change in y, or change in displacement, or change in position, over change in time. So yeah, this 3 is also giving you the slope of the second line, as well as the average velocity. Now let's look at the last one. C. Find this instantaneous velocity at t equals 1. What's meant by the instantaneous velocity is the velocity at exactly t equals 1, not velocity from t equals 1 to t equals 1.1 or velocity from t equals 1 to t equals 1.00001 you want to find the velocity exactly at t equals 1 how can you do that well the instantaneous velocity can be found by t finding the slope of the tangent line and the reason for this as as you saw that's this the average velocity is the slope of this second line, and as you move this point ever closer to t equals 1, you see you're going to get closer and closer approximation of the instantaneous velocity by calculating slope of the average velocity. At exactly t equals 1, the, the average velocity or the limit of average velocity is going to be the tangent line to the graph, and so the instantaneous velocity can be found by finding the slope of the tangent line. So we know the so we know s of t is t squared plus 1 and the velocity can be found by taking the derivative of s of t because derivative gives you the slope of the tangent line which in this case is going to be derivative of t squared plus 1 or 2t. So what's going to be the velocity at t equals 1? Well that's going to be 2 times 1 or 2.